Dun 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 dun. This is a Robocop wind up, as it were. This is the uh, end of the line for him for now. He's been on his first journey. It's been a, a long one, about 11 months of building, uh, throwing things away, rebuilding, throwing things away, cats eating foam helmets, and just basically. Uh, a lot going on, so it's been a very busy 11 months building this Robocop cosplay. As I said, I wanted to enter it into the um, <coughs> London MCM Comic Con. Uh, I wanted to enter the Masquerade, which I did. Uh, so I put the, M the MP3 together performance piece, which I've got a video on that. So if you ever want to do it yourself, follow that video. Uh, that's how I did my MP3, and it seemed to go down quite well. Building out of foam. It was a good idea, <laughs> very very hot, <laughs> if you imagine being in a room with an uh, EVA foam uh, suit on uh, and a uh, rubber scuba diver flange between your, your head and your torso. Uh, I couldn't sit down so I got put into the suit, uh, it took about an hour to put on, put it on and uh, I wore that for from about 9, 10 in the morning all the way through till the end of the day. Uh, that was, uh, so couldn't sit, couldn't go to the toilet. Uh, it was a, a sweaty day. Lots of people liked it, lots of photos were taken. And uh, he's scattered all over the internet now. So if you do see any pictures of my pyramid head or my uh, Robocop, please tag me in them or send me a link and show me where they are. I'd love to see if there's some professional pictures done. Due to the fact of me being in the suit and not being able to move my arms too much, I actually didn't take any photos myself. So uh, there are no photos that I own really as such. So if you've got some out there, please feel free to pass them over. So it went down very well. Um, I met some subscribers, which was very nice. I had a few people come over. Hey, Dak79. Uh, so it was great to meet um, all you subscribers out there. It makes it feel like uh, I'm not just staring at a camera talking to nobody so it's really good to know that um, you recognized my cosplays because you couldn't technically see my face in two of them and uh, so it's really good so yeah I am um, queued for the masquerade and I was number 64 out of I don't know a hundred or something <laughs> and there was a uh, three um, main awards and two judges awards Once again never done it before so I don't really know uh, the, the the ranking as it were Best in show is best in show. So um, the, the girl who got best in show for her World of Warcraft was fantastic. Um, she wasn't just a great cosplayer uh, and a great artist, but she was around the back helping out all of the cosplayers, trying to fix costumes to the bit and last moment. So she was helping a lot of people and the work she'd done was incredible. So check her out. Uh, I'll try and find her username and everything and put it in the box. Uh, then there was, uh, so she's Best in Show. There was Best Performance, which was won by a Disney couple, which was very nice. Uh, a nice little performance they did, um, a lip sync to A Whole New World, I think it was. And then there was um, the Parade winner, which was myself. <laughs> it is the future. Well, 1987. Here to serve the public trust, DAC 79 as the original Robocop. Drop the gun. 
something. I didn't expect to win at all because when you stood out back and seen all these costumes and you're hearing the stories that everyone's saying, everyone's going on about how many cons they've been to, how many costumes they've built and some of the craft craftsmanship is fantastic. So um, when they called my name out and asked me to come up on stage, um, I'd, first off I didn't hear, I had, a, I had a foam helmet on my head, I hadn't got a clue what was going on, then I got told Robocop get up there. Next up then judges. Okay, we're going to announce the best parades, and uh, the person who has won has only recently got into cosplay. I've actually been following this, and I thought the skit was actually very, very well done as well. Uh, Lee Thorne as Robocop. Ah, Robocop. <laughs> Uh, Robocop is currently negotiating stairs. Apparently I've got some prizes coming. Uh, goodie bags and prizes. Yay! And a trophy. Can't wait. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do with my trophy. I might just stand it with the helmets. And my, uh, get a, I'll get a glass cabinet, shall I? Shall I start filling up this glass cabinet? Yes, I think I should. So um, there you go. I uh, I won the parade, and then the two judges' awards. One went off to a violinist, um, and the other one went off to the Princess Mononoke um, group. They did when they walked out originally. I thought, well, no one's got a chance. <laughs> when a nine-foot um, wolf walks out on stage, white wolf, you think, I haven't got a chance against that. So um, and to start off right at the very beginning, a baby was on stage. Yes, a baby. A baby was on stage. As soon as that came out, I thought, are you going to beat a baby, eh? So, there you go. So, thank you everyone for watching uh, this build. Uh, this is kind of the end of it. So, it's a nice little roundup. And, um, yeah. There we go. Anyone can make something out of foam. Uh, you can just pick it up anywhere. It's dirt cheap. Buy some, cut it up. Worst case scenario, put it in a bin and start again. I'm going to have a few days off before I start working on my next project. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking uh, of a, a duo cosplay. or just trying to find out if my uh, um, friend who cosplays as well, uh, Blue Jam 77, um, who was also in the, the, the parade as well, um, I'm going to find out if he's available to do a duo. If he's not available, um, I might do something with my pyramid head. I don't know. Um, if he is available, then I think two people. Hmm, lots of foam, sweaty. If I'm going to get all foamed up, I'm dragging someone down with me. <laughs> right. Thank you for watching, and um, yeah, continue watching. Dax seventy nine.